Oh, look. This is so cool. Awesome. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Hey, 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 y'all. Come on in. Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back to those folks who hung out with me this morning during tips, topics, and talk. So how about that? Oh, come on. Enter the studio. How did I do that? Oh, come on. Alas. Yeah. Okay. Hey, y'all. Come on in. Come on in. Don't ask me what just happened. Hey, everybody. Come on in. I don't know what I just did, but something's wrong. <laughs> oh, come on. I might have to start it over. There we go. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. So now we're back centered. I'm, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I don't know how I feel about this new ring light situation that's happening, but what I do know is, is that we have some pork ribs that I need to um, prepare. So we're getting ready to turn this sucker around and I've already washed them. Hey y'all, come on in. I've already washed my pork ribs. Okay. And um, I'm getting ready to season them. And when you wash your pork ribs, you can use whatever you want. I use uh, water. That always works well. Okay. But not only that, but um, thank you. They're real jade. Thank you so much. How, how is everybody in the big old world? I've been telling folks about big old stuff over here, honey. They still don't believe it. But anyway, um, what is going on? Okay, there we go. There we go. So we're cooking a very simple meal tonight. Um, it is um, uh, braised pork ribs, and um, we're going to be using some collard greens, a couple of slices of potato, and uh, an apple. Okay, we're going to be using some thyme and a little butter, and we're just going to make it do what it do up in here. So, y'all, I'm trying to get used to this new um, this ring light thing that I have going on. It's in the middle of my floor. I'm not so sure that I like it being the way the, the in the in the position that it's in but first of all shout out to everybody that is watching that actually watched the day shift this morning with me and then just to let you know it did air again on um it did air again later on in the day so what i'm going to do is uh it aired again first of all on kccr um, if you want it, uh take it take a listen to it whenever we go live the biggest thing you can do is go ahead and download the app Yes, it is still currently available as always, as always. Okay, so what we're going to do is start cooking. How about that? All right, so hey, y'all, for those of you guys who are joining, uh, I'm just going to go and check this out and see. Here we go. Here we go. This is what I oh, needed okay, right here. here. I'm going to turn myself down so I can see what you guys. Hey, Roz, how you doing? Good to see you. So we're going to go ahead and start seasoning our ribs. I've already cleaned them and had a little vinegar on top of them as well to kind of clean them up a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and turn my stove on. And this is what I'm going to do, y'all, because this is so new to me. Um, it's kind of weird how this sucker is. is um, Yeah, there we go. Okay, so you guys can kind of see me over here. And what I'm going to do is get my ribs ready because what we're going to do is once we braise them just a little bit in, on in this in Sally y'all know who Sally is don't you huh y'all don't know who Sally is Sally is my beautiful skillet um she is over here heating up we're going to use a couple of um drops of olive oil over here right so I have my cruet this is an oil cruet this is a cruet and we're just going to put a little bit of that in here okay that's going to stop the butter from smoking. All right. And we also want to make sure that our skillet is nice and hot. That is going to be important. Now, if you notice, I also have my thyme. I have some thyme available right here. We've got our thyme ready. Hope everybody is good. Let's see what you said. Oh, we're in need of some Paulette love. <laughs> oh, you need to quit, girl. And so now let me tell you what I'm doing. I'm getting ready to cut open my butter. Y'all, look at this plant. What is this monstrosity? Okay. So when I bought this, when I got this, this sucker was super small. 
And look how it's leaning. So I, I keep it in the window here in the kitchen. And look how big this sucker has gotten. So it's time for me to repot it. What is the name of this plant? Listen, let me, tell, let me see. It is called the Orange Star Water Wind Dry. So um, I got this for Easter and this sucker is still growing. It's bloomed and gotten more flowers on it. So it is definitely time. And honey, when I tell you she hangs out in this window, um, I have another, I don't, I'm scared to even move this one. So it was just a game to see whether or not I was able to get my plants to grow because I do not have a green thumb, okay? I don't know why God missed me when it came to that, but he did. So for some reason, this orange glory loves sunlight. And so it's just reaching for the sun. So I'm, I'm kind of letting everything kind of uh, get a little hot over here. Now, let me tell you what we're going to do. I'm going to put some butter in my oil. Okay, so there we go. I, I don't know what's going on, y'all, but y'all, so I have my butter in here, and uh, I'm going to put a couple of extra pieces in there for good measure. Now, let me tell you what we're going to do. We're going to season our meat, and what are we going to season our meat with? Of course, you already know what it is. We're going to use a little bit of this brownstone blend. Our everyday blend is what we're going to be using. Let me see if I can find it. Honey, we got spices and stuff. So I might have to ask my son what the world he did with my spices. How about let me check up here? Nope. Yep. Here it is right here. Yes, we found it. So brownstone blends. And I want to be very careful because I have it on eight. Um, so I'm using our brownstone blends. We've got the everyday blend. And we also have garlic, lemon, pepper. So I'm going to go ahead and season my, my pork really well over here and then we want to make sure so if you kind of look over here you'll see me just seasoning that we don't have a lot because we don't have a lot of people feeding, right so the first thing i want to do is i want to put some thyme in my oil okay that's going to help to flavor that oil so i'm going to put a couple of sprigs a couple of sprigs of thyme into my oil. Okay. Y'all see that? And what I really want to do is make sure that I have um, enough because I'm also going to be using it. Guys, you're not going to leave the thyme in the oil. You just want just enough, and then I'm going to take it out and uh, put this in. I'm just going to take it out and squish it around just a little bit. Flavor that oil just a little bit. let them braise on all sides okay that's the key you want to get the crust on there that's going to be important um so that you get that flavor that you're looking for now one of the other things that i'm going to add to my recipe is a couple of potatoes and an apple how about that so we've got our apples and I have potatoes, and so I'm going to cut those up and put those directly in to the skillet and the salad. All right, so I've got potatoes here. I'm going to wash a couple of these off. Y'all, I don't have a lot of time. 
who has a lot of time when they get home? The first thing that you want to do is what? You want to get somewhere and sit out. You've been in traffic all freaking day, right? You've been in traffic. You don't want to be bothered. You really want to just come home and chill out to the best of your ability. You know what I'm saying? Can't do that. You got to fix, you got to fix food for your family. So you got to cook real fast so you can at least get done in a timely fashion and sit down and enjoy a little bit of your evening. You know what I'm saying? That's, you know, part of part of working is you want to enjoy some of your time off. So what I'm going to do, who am I going to use this night? Because why not? So the first thing that I want to do is I want to take out this time. All right? Now, this is really good because it's, it's got that flavor on here. I'm going to take that out. Okay? We want to turn that meat over. And it's starting to get a little crust on it. So I'm going to turn up the heat just a little bit. And I've got the oven on too, folks. Okay? The reason the oven is on is because after we're done braising and seasoning and all of that stuff, what we're going to do is we're going to pop her in the oven. So my kitchen is on fire right now. It's on fire. So y'all, if you paid attention to this morning's day shift, you heard us talk about how Florida is um, trying to give Walt Disney the business. What is really happening? What's going on? small enough so that you can put this in here with your ribs. And guys, here's the thing. Um, you can use a touch of apple cider vinegar. That's going to tenderize your meat, okay? I, guess what, am out. So we still going to cook, okay? Doesn't matter. And you can also use like a, a, a beautiful broth to kind of give it some kind of extra flavor and tenderness when it's in the oven, guess what? I'm going to use water. How about that? You're going to use what you got to make it work, okay? So, um, I'm going to go ahead and put my potatoes in there. And here's what I know. What I know is that most everybody in the house, KJ just made a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, okay? So, he, he ain't real messed up about getting a meal at this point, okay? So, one of the things that I do try to do is slice up enough for everybody to, you know, have a bite or, you know, something like that. But we definitely want to make sure that we have enough for everybody that's here. Um, and we have a small group. We don't go pick up Lily until this weekend. So, um, it's kind of where we're at. So, getting back to our topic at hand, which was about um, this dude over here in Florida. He said we were going to find out more about the don't say thing. Um, bill that got passed, which y'all, I don't know about y'all, but this, this it, it, it drives me, I'm a little confused by it, so I decided to do some research um, to find out more about what it was about, because I was super confused, like, I didn't know what was going on, I was like, huh, what does that mean, whatever do you mean, so, let's see if I can find what I was looking at, because guess so we're going to get some information about this bill and understand what happened and why DeSantis is giving folks the business. Because I, I, I honestly don't get it. I don't understand. Um, let's see. So the Don't Say Gay bill that DeSantis has signed, um, let's find out exactly what that is. And for those of you all who are just joining, we're actually doing a recap of what we talked about earlier today um, during the day shift, which airs on KCCR, the app. If you want the app, go ahead and download it um, and, and check it out for yourself. So here we go. So Governor Ron DeSantis signed House Bill 1557, officially named the Parental Rights Education Bill, into law. Okay, well, let's find out what it is. Because what I didn't know was that it was an anti, it was a parent parental rights. Critics of the measure dubbed by opponents as the Don't Say Gay Bill range from state Democrats to Hollywood celebrities to President Joe Biden 
it's been mentioned on news broadcasts all over the world in the White House press briefings, stuff like that. And most recently on the stage of the Academy Awards. I didn't even know that. Did y'all know that? I didn't know that. So while the effects of the bill and some of the details are still unknown, here are three things to know about the bill. According to its text, House Bill 50, 1557 is an attempt to reinforce the fundamental right of parents to make decisions regarding the upbringing and control of their children. The new law prohibits schools from enacting policies that prevent the disclosure to parents of critical decisions affecting the student's mental, emotional, or physical health or well-being. Schools could still withhold certain information if they believe the disclosure would result in abuse, neglect, or abandonment. Another key provision in the measure prohibits classroom instruction by school personnel or third parties on sexual orientation, ah, or gender identity in kindergarten through third grade. And it could prohibit the teaching of those topics in higher grades in a manner that is not age appropriate or developmentally appropriate according to state standards. So the bill is only seven pages long too. Um, sets a deadline for next year for the state to come up with updated standards, requires schools to notify parents of any healthcare services being required. So let me head back over here, y'all. I'm gonna take y'all with me and uh, we're gonna get back over here to our spices and to all of our cooking and stuff like that. Let's head back over there. Where are my tongs? Where are my tongs? Oh, here they are. Okay, so we're gonna turn our meat over. And we wanna make sure that there, it's nice and brown with that butter and that olive oil, okay? That's the first thing. Okay. Oh, this is a tender cut. This is really tender. Okay, so here we go. Now, we're going to get, there we go. Ooh, look at that. I wish y'all could see that far. So it's got a nice crust on it. Now, I'm going to cut up an apple and my collard greens. Yes, you heard me right. I said collard. All we're doing is like a quick, we're going to put those collard greens in there, see that? Yep, I got a whole bag, listen. And just a little bit for some green, and we're going to season this up, and we're going to put an apple in it with the skin on, okay? Why is that? Because first of all, y'all, it saves time. Quick plan, like y'all, y'all doing stuff perfect at your house, and come on with me to the other side, and let's just tell some truth, okay? We're going to put that apple in there, and we're also going to put an onion in our um, our meal here. It's going to be an oven meal, because when I'm done, since the oven is already on 450 degrees, again, this is nothing but short ribs. They're being braised. We use the little thyme. We've got some water that we're going to use, because I don't have, I actually ran out of broth. And um, I seasoned the butter with a um, with the butter and olive oil. I seasoned it with some thyme so that the meat can get a nice glaze on it. I'm putting my apples in here too. Okay. So here we go. Putting that over there. So it looks like this bill may just be you know, a way to protect parents' rights. And maybe it's being misunderstood. I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know. Why am I leaning over like the everlasting on, on this? <laughs> okay, there we go. So um, one of the things that I'm, I'm really kind of, you know, open about is the fact that, you know, everybody has a right to their own orientation. And guess whose business is not? It ain't mine. It's not mine. Okay, why am I leaning so? What is happening? There we go. I think that's it. We got myself. Okay, so um, our, our, our apples, we're going to put that over here. I feel like Rachel Rachel because I feel like I'm in a rush to get this done. And again, here's what we're going to do. We're going to season everything with our ground stone blends. This is the garlic, lemon, pepper. We're going to use that as well. And also season the potatoes with a little bit of that everyday blend. Okay. And then I'm getting ready to use an onion. 
okay? And let these suckers kind of cook down just a little bit. trying to do and put this in the oven okay thank y'all so i'm gonna go ahead and cut this open and i'm not using a cutting board because all we're doing is just cutting open the quick onion so we can get done okay all right thank you kj can you figure out why this thing feels like that Thank you. I don't know what happened. So again, here's what we use. Ribs, collard greens, yes, collard greens, apples and sliced potatoes, and one onion. This is the Vidalia onion. Okay, first of all, pick that up off the floor, ma'am, while you're running your mouth. Okay. All right, onions. In the skillet. Boom. No, you got it. Onions. In the skillet. Boom. Or. Onions. In the skillet. Pull it up right here. Boom. And we actually have a starter pack. How do you get your starter pack? Well, when you go to Brownstone Blends, you can use that code right there. We thank you. 2022. And you'll be able to get the Everyday Blend and the garlic, lemon, pepper. That's a part of the starter pack. Now, again, we've got these greens up in here, honey. We are doing, we killing the game over here, right? We just trying to just get it done so we can enjoy the rest of the evening. You know, we got those apples in here showing out. You feel me? And, and we have a couple of these ribs that have been ground and they got that cute little crust on them. I'm telling you, it's awesome. It's beautiful over here. Hey, Jay, what are you doing in my audience? So I'm going to go ahead and season just a little bit more with those brownstone blends. And we're going 
going to add a little water. KJ, really? Stop. They don't want to see you that much. Back up, Peter. Clover is an orange right there. So we're going to put some water in the bottom of the pan. Boom, boom, boom. A little bit more water. And guess what we're going to do? We're going to put it in the oven. We're going to put this in the oven. And let it continue to cook. A little bit more seasoning. We're going to let that, let the potatoes soften and we got our, we have our apples that need to soften. I'm going to put a little bit more collards, a little bit more collards in there. A couple more collards, right? And it's good to go. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do, just go ahead and put this in the oven and let it continue to cook down. That's going to be important. Okay, y'all, I don't like the sprinkler on my tops, so I'm just opening it up and put that seasoning right on top. Now, I'm getting ready to open up my oven and put Sally in the oven with all this good food and let it finish baking. And it's, it's, it's past baking because it's at 450 degrees, so this supper is hot. It is hot, hot, hot. We're going to let it finish baking. Now, I'm going to turn that off. We're good to go. See, <laughs> Raj, you said, really, KJ? I know. He need to quit. He's so silly. But I sure appreciate him because I didn't know what I had done. Now, let's finish talking about this bill. Oh, I don't know about this big old sucker right here. But I'm trying to, I'm calling myself trying to, you know, be professional and get all the right equipment and stuff like that. I don't know now. I don't know. So, now, allows this bill, the Don't Say Gay bill from Florida, allows parents to sue in court if they believe a school violates the new law or request the commissioner of education to appoint a special magistrate to get to the bottom of a complaint, okay? And of course, the school district is gonna pay for that magistrate. Huh, interesting. Why do some people call it the, call the bill don't say gay? So the bill as originally filed, check this out, originally filed prohibited school districts from encouraging classroom discussion about sexual orientation or gender identity in primary grade levels. Opponents of the bill interpreted that provision to be a ban on speaking about LGBTQ topics in classrooms and started using the Don't Say Gay moniker. Bill sponsors are Dennis Baxley, Joe Harding, amended the bill in the hopes of making it clear it would only be restricting lessons related to those subjects. Conversations between students and teachers about, for example, a child's two mothers would still be allowed under the bill. This is still a little off, y'all. This is still a little off. I'm sorry. I, 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 yeah, it's not, you know, I, I don't like it. I don't like the bill already because what we're trying to, to do is to deny people's um, existence, deny their realities, and, and that's what this kind of sounds like. Okay. Finally, there's the general plan around LGBTQ youth issues in America and in these 12 Republican led states, including Florida. Policymakers have passed laws restricting the rights of transgender females to participate in scholastic sports. In Texas, the Republican Attorney General and government calling on parents who give transgender kids gender-affirming care to be subject to child abuse investigations. What? I, I, yeah, okay, okay. So now I'm, I'm getting it. I'm understanding exactly what this is. So this is what we kind of discussed this morning and about how Walt Disney is like, this is a no for us. We're, we're going to fight this bill. Now, they have, like I said, until June 2023 to come up with amendments or whatever to adjust the bill itself. But at the end of the day, the hard part is, is what are you going to do with all of the people who identify as LGBTQ, right? And how do we look telling folks how they're supposed to live their life or how they identify and when it should be communicated that they are who they are? That don't even sound right to me. So maybe I'm misunderstanding exactly what this bill is about. Um, and maybe this should actually be a hot topic that we should, what are the politics around the bills? I'm sure that there are. I'm sure that there are more than enough politics behind the bills. So guys, um, I've got about 11 minutes prior, uh, before it's time for me to start wrapping it up. But here's what I want to do. First of all, thank you so much. I just wanted to reach out and say thank you, thank you, thank you to the to the many people that take the time to um, learn more about us, 
to um, get more information about us, um, to support the business and what we're doing. Um, people who have purchased spices, people who have downloaded the app and continue to download the app. We are most appreciative to um, everybody's efforts to um, connect with the Brownstone and the Brownstone Center and with me, your girl Paulette and our other entities that have come on. So expect in the future for it to be a lot more of this happening um, in terms of going live with other um, air personalities and things of that nature. It's not always just going to be me. I think I just like coming on live, right? And sharing with you guys some of these recipes. So once I'm done with this recipe, I am definitely going to uh, yeah, let you guys know about it and, and give you some information about um, how I came up with this crazy recipe. I just be like, just throw stuff in, in the skillet and just let it rock on, you know. But yeah, so we're going to let that bake for about 12 to 15 minutes. And um, I added the water because I do have the collards in there. I don't want the collard greens to actually um, dry out and, and, and begin smoking. So we definitely wanted to make sure that we had enough uh, fluid in there. Um, what do we, what do we, what do we want you to do over the next day or so? First of all, keep it locked to KCCR radio, the Brownstone center. You see the little logo up here in the corner. You can absolutely see that. So that's cool. Um, Ooh, I'm not really good at this stage left. So that's my stage left. Your stage right. Right. Okay. So also, um, more news, more information that you can use, uh, more lifestyle tips that you guys can uh, start paying attention to. I apologize today for the choppy internet. Not sure what that's about. My internet bill is clearly paid, okay? Um, but that's the other uh, portion. We have uh, shout out to Cullen's Corner. He's returning next week. Shout out to Nakima E. Her show, the beta show, happens this Friday at 8 p.m. We're definitely going to be spending some time chatting with her to make sure that she's good to go. KJ in the hall, of course, is going to be uh, happening in May. Uh, picking that back up, we also have two new tingles. We have some other air personalities that are going to be joining us as well, and we're really, really excited about that. I'm keeping those under wraps until things are clear on uh, what that's going to look like. And that's pretty much where we currently are right now. So I'm excited. I'm super, super excited um, about where we are headed, what's what's going on, and how KCCR is going to sound at the end of all of this is what has me the most excited. And so um, download the app, stay connected, check us out at the Brownstone Center. Check us out also on the Sunday brunch and also Brownstone Living and Essentials. If you like flea marketing and sales and all that other cool stuff, check us out at mybrownstoneliving.com if you want to see what other products and services that we offer. Um, and also, once you go to mybrownstoneliving.com, you can actually register for May's newsletter, which is coming out this weekend. So um, I keep pushing it back because I want to make sure that we... drop off because I keep freezing and it's driving me insane. So maybe I'll have a better signal tomorrow. You guys, it's been real. I appreciate you all always coming to hang out with me um, on my lives. Uh, what we are going to do tomorrow is I will see you guys in the morning. Once again, we're going to ask you to grab your coffee and let's get into some news and information that you can use. We did a talk tonight. You learned a quick thing that you can do with um, some ribs and some collard greens and a little time on your side, ultimately. So we're going to end our broadcast now because I have about six minutes before my next meeting. Um, go ahead and check out my reels for today. Uh, we kind of hung out and did some stuff at my day job, if you will, because it is my day job, right? But um, we want you to see what I kind of do during the day. And that was just a portion of that. You can carry on. You can go on. You can go on like I just told you to do. Thank you. Okay. And um, with that, we're going to end here. So three things that I always like for you to do. Are you ready? Love your life. You only get one. You might as well enjoy it. Live your life to the fullest in every sense of the word. And breathe. 
through every single moment. I will see you all tomorrow for another edition of the Day Shift on KCCR and right here on Facebook Live, YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. You guessed it, we are everywhere. So don't forget, no matter where you go, there we are. This is KCCR. Have a great night.